This is AppChasers.com. Today we're going to look at ScanBot, which is a great scanning app for the iPad and the iPhone. Today this video will show you some of the features of ScanBot using the iPad, but you can also read our review and look at some of the images on AppChasers.com showing the iPhone version of ScanBot. Now you can see we've got ScanBot uh, open here in the iTunes App Store. Uh, it does have an initial purchase price, and then it has an in-app purchase too, which unlocks some neat new features, including optical character recognition, which we'll show you in this video. So let's go ahead and open up ScanBot. Now, as you get into this interface, you'll see that it's beautifully designed. In fact, when we first heard that ScanBot was going to be released way back in April, uh, and it was released back then, we thought, well, how can this uh, scanning app really compete among the hordes of scanning apps that are available in the App Store, including our personal favorite, which was Scanner Pro by Riedel. Well, opening up this app for the first time, you'll see that it does have a beautiful interface, and it's designed in such a way to really excite the user and make it pretty playful to use. On the left-hand side, you can see that we've got some documents already in our scan library. There are a few different sharing options that are available in ScanBot, and those are all available with some swipe gestures that are really neat. For example, if we swipe to the left, we get our trash. We can get rid of documents that way. If we swipe to the right, we get our different uh, sharing options. We can message a document, which is cool, send a, a PDF over iMessage. That'll really surprise the recipient. We can also share them by mail or using the open in other apps that can open PDF documents. Now if we continue to swipe, we just go straight into mailing that document. We'll cancel out of that. And then also if we tap and hold on any one of our documents, we can automatically upload it to storage service, a cloud storage service such as Dropbox, um, Google Drive, or even Evernote. We've also got this plus icon, which will allow us to scan a new document. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to go over here and uh, we'll hit that plus button. And you can see we'll grab our uh, book that we're going to scan. Okay, there we go. So we've got the scan now. Uh, probably help if you flattened out the book a little bit more, but um, I wasn't able to on this scan. But you can see that now that we've scanned this document, we can add a page in the upper left-hand corner. So let's do that. We'll tap Add a Page. All right, so we got that next page here. So we can scroll through these different pages that we've scanned. You can see I, I took them at different um, distances from the book itself. So we want to be able to crop those so that they're the same or similar size. We can do that with the crop tool, which is down at the bottom here. Touch that, and that's going to automatically try to crop this page for us. But we can use this neat magnifying glass feature and just tweak those edges a little bit. So we'll do that right here. That's going to make a nice square uh, image for us in our PDF. And it'll also try to do its best to um, distort the image so that it looks like it's uh, right on as far as um, aspect ratio is. Now we'll do that to the next page as well. Go over here. Grab our corners. Okay, there we go. And we'll hit done. And this is going to recenter that. Now we can add a few filters here to this scan. And we'll see that we've got a few different filters here color filter, grayscale, which is nice, and uh, black and white. So if we run to make this the smallest file size, we can apply one of these filters in that way. 
Now we can also rotate pages if we need to, and we can rename those this scan by just tapping here on the name. We'll show you a little bit about how ScanBot names files too, especially in ScanBot Pro, which offers some neat automatic naming features. But we'll keep it just as it is. We could also trash it if we wanted to, but for now we'll, sit, we'll hit save. Now watch what it does here. Since we have the, um, we'll go back to our library, since we have the uh, in-app purchase of the optical character recognition, you'll see that it's working on processing the, that digital text uh, right now as we speak. So you can see it's 86% done from page one of two pages. And we'll wait for that to complete. Now while we're waiting for that, let's take a look at some of the other features here. In our settings button, which is the gear icon, we can bring up different uh, features and settings options that we can toggle on and off uh, for ScanBot. For example, we've got automatic upload. So you can select any cloud storage that you use and have ScanBot send your scans automatically to that cloud storage so you can access it you know, on your computer or any other device that you're using. We can also toggle text recognition or that OCR on and off and we can select a language that we'd like to use. And we can uh, change the theme here so we can change the color um, and the overall theme of ScanBot and that again is an optional in-app purchase. Uh, ScanBot Pro also offers some nice automatic naming features or smart naming features of your files. We'll show you what that means here. If we go into our, our settings again and we click on default file name, right now we've got our default file name showing as uh, the word scan, then the current date and time of that scan. We can add a word. So let's go ahead and put a space there, right, app chasers space and then day and it gives you an automatic preview here of what our different files are going to be named. We can also get rid of certain uh, naming conventions there for example scan we'll get rid of that and now it'll just be called uh, August 28th our date our time and our app chasers name. So a neat way that ScanBat now offers some different naming conventions for our files. And we can see now that we're back in our library, our optical character recognition processing is complete. So let's go back into that scan and we'll show you what we can now do. Because we scan this with optical character recognition, it now allows us to select some of the text. But we can highlight it and that's done by going into our next feature which is the editing capabilities of ScanBot. We've got our tools down here at the bottom, and if we uh, tap on our highlight tool, we can then go ahead and draw some uh, highlighting on the text. Now that's not actually using the optical character recognition, but if we go and select some of the text that we had uh, scanned here, we're going to have some options that come up, such as highlight, so there we go, and we can also underline words within uh, ScanBot. There we go, we've got underlining too. We can add notes to our uh, PDFs that we've created too. And now we can save that. If you have a form that someone has uh, sent you as a PDF that you need to sign, or you'd like to sign one of your scans, you can do that. Uh, by importing or opening that PDF in ScanBot. Now if you've got cloud services attached to ScanBot, all your edits will be automatically uploaded to that cloud storage, so you don't need to worry about that. Now you can also, let's say you have some uh, pictures of documents that you've taken previously, and now you want to bring those into ScanBot in order to uh, process them with OCR, and uh, make them into PDFs. Well, we can do that just by clicking on the plus icon. Now we've got our camera open here, but in the lower right-hand corner, we can access our camera roll. So here we've got our camera roll. We can select uh, multiple pages or multiple images that will make pages, and then we can bring those right in. 
hand, but it looks good the way that we have it right here. So let's go ahead and save that. And it's going to, going to now process that text for OCR. It's going a lot faster now because we were using that nice clean image. So overall, we love ScanBot Pro. In fact, it's our favorite scanner app that we've now been using uh, here at AppChasers.com. And we recommend you take a look. It's a great scanning app with the default features that come with the initial purchase. And then if you want to be a power user, we recommend going for that pro purchase uh, for the additional uh, cost because you're going to get optical character recognition, different themes, and that smart file naming. So take a look at ScanBot Pro.